So welcome back to the channel. Squeezing in a little nine today, although it's not my, my best start here. We did not plan this. The yeah. white and purple, we did not. We just not, match because we're adorable like that. We did not plan on this. Started with a bogey, not looking good. Went to the woods, we're taking a drop here. Cleared the bunker, oh, that's good broke news. broke my ankles. <laughs> now why would you miss that? That was a gimme. Now roll. So I'm gonna cut in here and uh, talk just a little bit. <laughs> The round got progressively worse after this point. And I do want to say golf already is hard. Couple that with adding in the camera piece, making sure the settings are set correctly on the camera, the exposure, the white balance. Is there an SD card in the camera? How much battery life is left? And then the, just the camera itself, is the angle look good? Should it be from another side? Does it get enough for the shot tracer? And there's just so many things happening before I even step up to the ball. I'm working through those as best as I can, but I'm putting in at the end here, this little range session, because what I'm finding, even though I'm struggling at the moment with my golf swing is through recording, I'm picking up on the things that I'm doing wrong, which is a good thing. For starters, I'm standing much too close to the ball. Now this could be a limitation of my back. If you've and haven't seen any of my previous videos, I have an L5-S1 disc herniation. I have permanent nerve damage in my left leg. I have no feeling in my left foot. Uh, my left pinky toe, there's no sensation there. And I think because of that reason, I'm standing more closely to the ball. And what's happening is because I'm standing so close to the ball, my hands don't have enough room to rotate through uh, impact, which is why I'm standing up at impact on the downswing, trying to get my body out of the way so my hands can clear, which is why I'm topping the ball. So in this range session, you'll see I've got the alignment sticks down on the ground. This is also another issue that I've been having. I aim too far left because I naturally draw the ball because I'm going through a bit of this swing change here now. When I leave the club face open, you'll see in this tee shot here, I completely shank it left. Another one here, I completely smoke left because I'm just leaving the club face open and aiming too far left. So I have the alignment sticks down on the ground. I actually ended up playing with a guy named Sean. Shout out Sean, if you're watching this, it's great playing with you. Also a lefty, which is pretty cool. It's very rare that I find a lefty golfer out on the golf course, not to mention one that wants to play through the round with me, uh, but his, best suggestion was to get some alignment sticks and work through some of those swing changes at the course and at the range. What I'm trying to do is create a little bit more distance between myself and the ball. Um, so I'm, I'm creating more uh, space for my hands. There's not a lot of space right now, just trying to get myself comfortable, but then also alignment. So where are my aiming points when what I'm going through when I'm feeling these swings? So just wanted to put this back in here. It's a little different than what I typically planned on these videos becoming. Asking that you just please be patient with me. I'm trying to be patient with myself working through this. Hopefully you guys, um, yeah, learned something or you know just got some entertainment out of this. Uh, be sure to drop a like down below if you like this. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another video like this one and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.